Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm here to show you guys how to make a sweet poly. Sweet poly, it's uh, basically a Maharashtra, I'm from Mumbai, Maharashtra. Uh, well, my parents are born and raised in Mumbai. Uh, so it's a, it's a sweet dish that it's very popular in Mumbai. A lot of people like it to have it for breakfast. And uh, growing up, my parent, my mom always used to make the sweet poly to us and then we usually have it just like a snack, you know, or even particularly for breakfast. And uh, for that, I have the main ingredient, as you can see, cucumber. But I'm just gonna like use half of this because it's just too big and I don't want too many uh, sweet polys out of that. So I'm just gonna use half of this uh, big cucumber. And then something else here, as you can see right here, I have uh, some about one tablespoon of sugar I have one whole egg here as you can see and then I have uh, two or three tablespoons of uh, white purpose flour depending on how much uh, sweet polys you want at the end and then as well as I have some butter here to fry I like butter so it's basically like um, like how I made the pancakes before but this is just you know like um, sweet pot, you know, the main ingredient in here is uh, the cucumber. So, yeah, let's start mixing the ingredients and uh, we'll show you guys the, how the batter becomes. Alright, so guys, now I'm just cutting this uh, cucumber into half because as I said, you know, I just want half of uh, the cucumber and uh, I think this should be enough for us. So I'm just gonna do the peeling here. I'm just gonna take the skin off. Just making sure you know the, the whole skin is coming out, otherwise uh, my poly is not going to be soft and um, how I want. Yeah, so just also making sure you know the pills are coming out to make sure you know the sides like the pills here they are always bitter like the sides are always bitter that's why I'm making sure you know uh, the pills are all like the skin is coming out and as well as to make the poly softer. Yeah. Alright, so guys, I have uh, all white cucumber right here after I removed the, the skin. Uh, so I'm just gonna thoroughly wash this uh, cucumber once again. This much the half of the cucumber, cucumber that I prepared earlier. And uh, just making sure I'm washing it thoroughly to uh, make sure the bitterness is uh, getting like, you know, I just wanna get rid of the bitterness as much as I can. So, yeah. Right, so guys, now it's time to grate my cucumber. And uh, I have my grater here. So the side that I'm going to use, it's, um, you know, this one right here. As you can see, this is just the perfect uh, size that I want. The rest of them are a bit thicker, and I think this one would be perfect. So I'm going to start um, uh, peeling, like, uh, grating this cucumber. As you can see here. Alright, so guys, as you can see, wow, it's just a really good, beautiful green color of the cucumber. And you, as you can see, like, this is just perfect and it's giving me a really, you know, finely grated cucumbers. So that is how I want and that's how you guys should be doing if you guys are doing the sweet poly you know you should make sure the cucumber is really finely grated Oh watch out your fingers guys make sure you're not cutting your fingers here So the end part that you see right here, you can try to grate it as much as you can, but the end part you can always like use a knife and uh, do the small pieces out of it, but looks like my cucumber is almost uh, finely grated, so I don't really need a knife, but if needed, you can always like, you know, get a knife and cut it. All right, so, so I'm just trying to scoop the excess cucumber that's left in the um, grater here, so I'm just going to use my hand right here and then just take the excess of the 
cucumber grated. Just making sure you know I'm not wasting anything and look how beautiful the green color it got. All right, so guys, now it's uh, time to mix every the, all the rest of the ingredients with my cucumber, and I'm going to start the flame here. I'm just gonna put it on low first, so the pan here, my beautiful pan here, can heat up and warm up, and uh, I'm just gonna mix uh, the rest of the ingredients, which is uh, sugar, the white sugar, and uh, as well as the flour, white flour, and. Uh, egg one egg just making sure you know no shells are getting inside there yeah it's good oops I forgot my whisker right here this is my whisker so I'm just going to give it a good stir here as you can see make sure everything is well incorporated you know and also see like the smell is just beautiful now because of the cucumber, the, sh the uh, sugar and the egg. It's just so beautiful. Now it, it's becoming like, you know, greenish and uh, as well as yellowish color, like yellowish kind of like from far because of the egg yolk that we just added in the mixture. As you can see right here, just making sure everything is well incorporated. All right, so guys, I'm just making sure, you know, I'm searing it at least for five minutes at least for five minutes you know just to make sure that you know not the cucumber or something else is just left on one side of the sweet poly you know um, try to mix it very well thoroughly well incorporating um, so that you know you, the, the fine poly the end result has the actual um, like the ingredients of um, I mean like uh, the cucumber as well as the egg and as well as the sugar taste all right, so I'm just gonna do this for about five minutes and then we are ready to fry this. All right, so guys, now it's been almost five minutes since I've started stirring this uh, mixture of the cucumber and the rest of the ingredients. So, you know, just uh, be mindful if you guys want uh, like van to add uh, vanilla extract or any kind of you know like extract this is the right point to add it in but I'm just out of stock today that's why um, I don't have vanilla extract to add into my mixture my batter here so if you guys want you can always add but also skip as it's, it's kind of like optional Alright, so guys, now I can start feeling the warmness. My pan is a little bit hot now, and I think it's time to uh, fry my sweet polis. I'm just making sure my flame is still on medium ish. So, alright, so guys, this is my butter here. I like using butter to fry my sweet polis and as well as the pancakes that I did before. So, just taking, you know this much and um, I'm just gonna grease my pan here take as much as you want Alright, so guys, now I've put my butter in my pan right here and uh, it's time to start portioning my sweet polis. I'm just going to give it a good one, five seconds stir here, just making sure, you know, everything is uh, well incorporated again. And I'm just going to take one spoon right here, as you can see, right, so I'm just going to start putting one spoon on the top and then second one as well on the top right there and then third one can also go on the top right here now I've just put my flame on medium here on three is just fine and I'm just gonna take the lid and just cover it like this I don't have a bigger lid that's why you know I'm just using this one as long as it's covering my pan it's good so right there it's in the process and then we're, we're gonna flip it over soon 
now it's been about a minute and a half or two, I think. And see, as you guys can see how it's bubbling up. And also the smell of the cucumber, you know, this just reminded me of how my mom used to make, you know. So, yeah, I'm just gonna cover the lid now. And then we're gonna flip it over soon once the bottom part is done. Alright, so guys, uh, now I'm just gonna share one secret between the sweet poly and the pancakes. Actually, a difference, you know. The pancakes, like most of the time, you know, they are actually like, you know, fair looking, like a bit whiter, like both the top and the bottom. I mean, like they're pale in color, like the sweet polys, but I mean the pancakes, but uh, the sweet polys, you have to make sure, you know, they're both brown at the bottom and as well as the on the top so make sure you know they're brown on both sides not as the pancakes yeah. as you can see the bottom here it's still cooking i think i'm just gonna give it a few minute more one minute more So guys, now I'm going to flip this over. Looks like the base is done. Wow. I'm just gonna cover this with the lid. We'll leave this for like one or two minutes and then we'll flip it back over to see you know the both sides are brownish. Right, so guys, now it's pretty much done. Right here, as you can see, both sides look pretty much done, and I don't want it too dark, otherwise, it's gonna be you know too like um, bitter to eat. So, I'm just gonna plate it here in my plate, and uh, I'm going to do another poly. So, for that, I'm going to take the butter, just gonna you know. Like make sure my pan is up. So right now I am going to do another round of poly. Just gonna give it a good good stir here. And uh, right there, one, two, three. All right. So right there, and then we're gonna close the pan here. Make sure your pan is, you know, like well greased so, you know, it doesn't get stuck, like the poly doesn't get stuck to each other and my flame, as you can see, it's on medium here and uh, yeah, so just gonna wait here for some time and as well as, meanwhile, uh, my poly is in the making. I, re I just bought this 100% uh, maple syrup today, um, so I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use this one for um, my... Uh, sweet polis you can also you know just eat them flame as uh, you want you can put uh, whipped cream you can you can use even berries if you want but i'm going to be uh, using the 100 percent maple syrup that i bought today especially for my sweet polis yeah all right so guys uh, now this one looks done as well Alright, so I'm just gonna switch off the pan right here and uh, my sweet poly, the second one is done as well. So I'm just gonna plate it here. Don't worry about the, the sweet poly to break in between because it was too flat, that's why. You can also make it uh, more, you know, like uh, thicker according to how much uh, flour you add. But mines are a bit flatter. So this is my syrup. Just gonna drizzle on top right here. And, uh, so right there, as you can see, my syrup here is on top of the sweet polys. It's a very good snack to have it, you know, in 
even at night, you know, in the evening, kind of like with your cup of tea or like even in the morning. So, mm, it just reminds me of back home, how my mom used to make. Right here, as you can see. Mm. So good. All right, so guys, thank you for watching my video till the end. And um, please try this recipe out at home. If you guys like this, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment. And thank you so much for your love and support. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.